Hi there, I'm Tracy and I run a small sublimation business where I print out my art on products and then I sell them at markets and pop-ups and online. So today I want to make some sublimation magnets. So I'll be using my images that so I um, designed these when I painted them as artworks, but you can use any images you like. You can use photographs, you can find something on Google, or you may have your own artwork, but you can use anything. So yes, I'll be using um, these designs for today. There's also two types of magnets here. There's, there's this type here, which is a better quality magnet, and then there's this type here that I got on Amazon. I'll leave the links because they're to the both of the magnets. And you can decide yourself. This one's actually got a bit of a glittery, um, a glittery look in it, and it's it's quite pretty, but it's not as vibrant. This one here is more of a vibrant colour. So I'll leave them in the links in the description below. So first up, what I do is I use a program called Inkscape, and I always go to File, and I import. And then I'll just go to your folders on your computer, and I've found Lotus, and I've found the image that I want. This comes up all the time, you just click OK, and then when it comes up on the screen, I usually will reverse it. That way I'm not going to have to worry about anything when I sublimate. So I'll reverse it. I usually have it on centimetres, and then I will change it to the size. So this size is um, 6.5, by 6.5 for the smaller magnet because there's two two different types as long as you have enough so that your magnet fits on the whole page and there's a bit overlapping it doesn't even have to be much that way um, you know the whole magnet will be printed then I just will duplicate that I'll right click it and I'll duplicate it and move it over so there's my Second one, which makes it nice and simple. Then I actually wanted to make the next magnet a bit larger. So, but I'll just um, duplicate them first and then I can change the size. So you can, you just go up, press your plus and make it bigger, which I want these to be seven, seven point, I can't, yeah, I want them to be bigger. So I'll just make them bigger and then I am doing the same thing, clicking, right clicking and duplicating. Then I have all my images ready to go. I'll go to file and print. And that's where you'll pick your printer I want to sublimate so I will pick my uh, sublimation printer I don't see anything there's no preview I see nothing I just press print I don't even know if that's an issue first up these are the so supplies I'll start off you're with need. the sublimation paper this inkjet sublimation paper um, it's pretty good it works well you can get all sorts a sub koala paper but I use this one um, I use my heat tape, a lint roller, and the different magnets. These ones are for Amazon, and they were very cheap. I don't know how they're going to go. And then these ones here are from my supplier that, that I'll leave a link down below for you, who I find are beautiful magnets. They're a bit better quality. They tell you the instructions on the back, what to do them at which of course the other ones don't. So yeah, these ones are like 170 for 60 seconds. Um, so I always peel off the film on top. So they're always clean, but I still lint roll anyway. So peel off the, the top film. I have struggles with my nails, so I just use a little Cricut tool or it seems to work really well. 
So then we're pretty ready to go. You have your printed out image that we made through Inkscape. So this is now printed out. And as I was saying, if you can have enough room, you don't need a lot. You just need more, you know, just enough around it so that that magnet is definitely in a coloured area. And I actually cut mine all up. I don't stick them on and put, do the whole lot in one hit because it's too difficult. They'll fall off and then you get ghosting. And I make a lot, but I still do it this way and I have no trouble. Um, so I cut them out and lint roll and then a little bit of tape to stick them on. So they're not going to move around too much. And I'll just finish the rest of these. And now I will put them into the heat press. So we turn them over. And I'll put the whole lot in so I can make the whole six of them in one hit. And I'll always add the butcher paper and pull down and do it for the required time, which was 60 seconds. Then when I lift it up, oh, one got stuck here, it fell on the floor, but that's okay. I um, will now reveal whether they work, which I do think they would. They always seem to work if you just go by the instructions, by what they say. Oh, yeah, that's actually turned out really nice. It's got a bit of a glitter in the magnet. These were the bigger, cheaper ones, so it's not as vibrant as I usually would think but it's still come out quite nice yep this one worked as well and then these were the better quality so I'm thinking these should be nicer and yes so definitely are more vibrant and seem more colorful so yeah so these are the finished results and they are ready for the fridge great to give as a gift or just use in your own home yeah. also if you have any um, questions that you want to ask i'm more than happy to try and help i mean i'm no expert but i have made a lot of them so yeah if you want to drop a a question in the comments below and i will try and get back to you and help you if i can so if you're like the video and it did help you at all hit that thumbs up button it really helps so thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye